with two Korean princes as hostages and the Korean king Sonjo having abandoned Seoul before Kiyomasa got there, Kiyomasa used the prince's authority to force the lower ranked official to surrender. Also, in his free time during the war, Kiyomasa also took to the hobby of hunting tigers using his spear and presented some of their pelts to Hideyoshi. There is also a rumour that he wanted to catch the tigers alive as the meat is said to have health benefits for Hideyoshi but at one point his men were running out of food and he allowed the tiger meat to be cooked for them. But again, this story is unverified as true. The tiger hunting practice also had to be banned by Hideyoshi as many samurai were getting killed trying to emulate Kiyomasa. Also another ruthless note of the war is the way samurai proved their successes by cutting off the noses of Korean soldiers, civilians and Ming soldiers from China which still has a shrine to it in Japan and its name changed from Hanazuka meaning nose mound to Mimizuka meaning ear mound as nose mound was seen as the leadership as too ominous decades later. Now back to the Imjin war. By now the Ming Chinese had joined the war and of course backed the Koreans as Hideyoshi wanted to invade China as the main goal. Another commander, Konishi Yukinaga, in fact even fought the Chinese in a pitched battle for Pyongyang. And the Korean Navy of Admiral Yi was causing havoc for the inferior Japanese Navy, causing significant supply issues. Hideyoshi then started to arrange a truce with the Chinese and Koreans and to the samurai's reluctance had to withdraw from the north of Korea. When the truce came into effect, even Kiyomasa's two princes had to be released. But then, the truce fell true and when Hideyoshi ordered hostilities to recommence, the Japanese army marched north again but hardly as fast as before. A Kiyomasa over the years of war also of course built castles in the territories he conquered. Uslan was one such fortress, north of Pusan and the place where his most famous deed of war was achieved. The Chinese general Yang Hao's allied army of 60,000 attacked Uslan and Kiyomasa commanding according to different sources 10 to 23,000. Outnumbered and having the outer walls breach, the Japanese retreated to the inner fort but that meant that they had to abandon their supplies. There they held the Chinese army at bay with little food and supplies for months until the Chinese army retreated when Mori Hidemoto's relief force of 13,000 arrived on the scene. The retreat though was disorganized and many stragglers were cut down by the Japanese leading to heavy allied casualties. In fact for the failure of taking Uslan fortress, Yang Hao would be recalled to Beijing. On the Japanese side, only 1000 survivors were left of the original Japanese garrison. To Kiyomasa's chagrin, his superiors and rival Ishida Misunari did not report the bravery of Uslan to Hideyoshi and after Kiyomasa was recalled to Kyoto. This rift leading Kiyomasa to increasingly move to Tokugawa Ieyasu's side after Hideyoshi's death. Even though he very much supported Hideyoshi himself. So that is the time Kato Kiyomasa spent in Korea during the Imjin war. How will this rift with Ishida Mitsunari and Christians affect his life? Now that he is back in Japan, find out next time. Until next word.